So you first take some dividers or something and measure where your support's supposed to go. I found some wire that looked about the right size, took a little sharpie, took off the measurement, and then cut it off with some pliers. And then I attached it with some super glue, thick super glue on either end, and just put it to the spots where it's supposed to be. Now, sometimes I put little grooves in there so they fit better. This time I was able just to glue it directly on and they look good. Hit them with a little bit of accelerator to make sure and now we've got nice connections on the stabilizer. That looks good. Good job. Now, the same thing here. Measure where the torque tubes are going to go. You uh, mark them off, cut them, and add them with a little super glue. Now, in this case, um, there's a little spot right on the top of the fuse. I can barely see it. I put it up in the top first and then down, and it fits right nicely. Now, these end up canting forward a little bit, but I'm just putting them on the geometry that's dictated by the model itself, not by pictures. So I think they're a little far forward. Uh, here, so on the other side, you can see it better. I put it up into the hole and then back into where the little dot is in front of that cabane strut. And it has to make sense where they're going to go because um, the uh, uh, it's going to push up and down on the little aileron bell crank that's going to fit in those two slots ultimately. So uh, those look good. So the next thing was to take these um, little tiny bell cranks. They're in paper, folded over so they're double thickness and dried. And you got to cut that out with a very sharp exacto blade. It seems impossible they're going to fit in those slots, but there's one in the background um, that I cut out. And you just are really careful and cut very carefully and slowly. Color the edges, color the insides, and dang if it doesn't turn out, I was surprised, very surprised actually. So. You just take them and put a little glue, in this case, into the slot. Um, the white glue is nice again because it dries. I use my thumb as a shelf all the time to position parts. It really helps. Um, and then you just slide it down into the slot, and it'll get tacky and glue there. Then you're just going to make sure with your eyeball that you've got the right amount showing above the, the bell crank, showing above the wing and also below. Because uh, right now my wings are, the other ones are neutral, so they would be pretty even. Um, so you put in a, another little blob of glue on the other side and attach the um, little bell crank the same way. Slide it in, make sure it's even, and um, push down a little bit. Make sure it looks good. And uh, as they say, Bob's your uncle. Looks really nice. I'm really surprised. I thought I would have to make these out of wire, but the little paper looks very convincing. So I'm surprised, but very, very pleased with how it turned out.